Hi, aloha. My name is Master Paul. I am a certified master teacher who has been certified by the Tao Institute. Today's uh, recording is to help you to understand the nature of frequencies and specifically the nature of frequencies and their association to Tao blessings and Tao source calligraphy. So to start with, Everything that I'll share with you will be based in science. Many people do not actually understand the nature of frequencies. And so I will give you some examples. Now, according to physicists, <clears throat> all things in life vibrate. So that means that the computer module you're watching me through is vibrating right now, even though it appears solid. The chair you're sitting on, everything in life, no matter how solid it appears, vibrates. So why can't we see that? Because as a human vessel, we can only um, take in what our five senses can experience. Sight, touch, taste, hearing, sound, right? <clears throat> and what we see. And so we judge according to our five senses. Well, physics doesn't necessarily care about that. And what they have been able to determine based on the laws of physics as well as what they can see under microscopes, etc., that everyone and everything vibrates. They also have concluded that everything is made up of energy and matter. Understanding frequencies is about understanding the nature of things beyond the five senses. So, for example, uh, cell phones. Cell phones <coughs> operate on frequencies, right? How do you know a cell phone works? Can you see a cell phone frequency? Of course not. Then how do you know if the cell phone actually has a frequency? How do you know if it actually works? Because your five senses determined based on the vibration and the sound and talking to it, that it works. You're just not quite sure how. What's another example? Children. Children see things that humans do not see, excuse me, that adults do not see. Uh, there is many children that if you went and asked them, they will tell you they have seen things that you and I definitely could not see. Uh, many children say they see angels. Why can a child see an angel we cannot? Because the angel operates on a different frequency. Modern science has validated that the human eye operates on a certain bandwidth uh, and I don't know the numbers, for now we'll say between 400 and 900 frequency. Uh, that which is above it cannot be seen, that which is below it cannot be seen or experienced by our five senses, but it is still there, okay? And so there are frequencies that can harm us. There are frequencies that can benefit us. How many of you know that a frequency that is emitted by wireless frequencies such as the Wi-Fi in your home or the office or the cell phones, you have heard maybe in the news that they can harm you, but you don't know for sure. And since the government has not validated it, well, it must not be true, right? Well, it took them 40 years to validate that cigarettes cause cancer. Until then, they denied it. So we know that the human cell has a certain vibrational frequency that it just loves. It just, it's the happiest in a certain frequency. And cell phone frequencies do not match up to that. So in my observation, uh, frequencies can hurt. Now there are also frequencies that can heal. In the 1920s, there was a gentleman named uh, Royal Raymond Reif. And he uh, invented machinery and microscopes and frequency machines that were um, dissolving virus and bacteria that he was able to see in his microscopes. And he took many, many people with major, major, major life-threatening illnesses, identified the frequencies those illnesses were operating on, and, pr and proceeded to dissolve those illnesses using a frequency-based machine. So I guess what I'm sharing with you is to become educated about the nature of all life because no matter if it's a parasite, a virus or bacteria or a cell phone frequency, a human body and human cells, all things have frequency. Now that also includes Mother Earth and Heaven, where we have originated from. Heaven and Mother Earth have an exceedingly high frequency, much, much more pure than the human beings 
frequency. Tao and Tao blessings and Tao calligraphy serve us by aligning the human's frequency to the higher frequencies of heaven and Mother Earth. Now let me offer you a teaching as to how that works. There are what is called Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages. These are Mandarin Chinese words. Shen means soul, heart, and mind. Qi means energy. You've heard of Qi Gong and Tai Chi. Jing is a word that means matter. So according to uh, this philosophy, uh, a Tao philosophy and Tao understanding of the nature of heaven, earth, and human being, everything, everything in all universes is made up of soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. Now science sees energy and matter. Uh, the Western model of treating somebody's conditions <clears throat> is to deal with it at the level of matter. They cut it out or they adjust it using uh, pharmaceuticals. So they deal with the matter and try to adjust the matter to fix things. The Eastern medical approach is to deal things on the level of energy. Tai Chi or Qi Gong or acupuncture or certain forms of massage, certain forms of herbs, all to adjust the energy fluctuations. So those modalities have very reasonable success. But from the perspective of um, uh, the Tao blessings and the Tao frequencies that are working with both positive and negative energies, we as a human vessel uh, house something called the soul. With it, the Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages of all of the soul's lifetimes of experiences, all of its positive experiences and all of its negative experiences. So if you choose to agree that the soul has unlimited time and that we do not, then the soul uh, is the memory vessel through which all of the lifetimes of its experience happen. So either way, whether it's ancestral or whether it's um, something from our soul carrying it forth from many lifetimes, there is without a doubt a rec record at the cellular level of blockages that happen at the level of soul. The way Tao blessings work and the way Tao uh, calligraphy works is they carry the frequency of heaven and mother earth, Shen, Qi, and Jing, which happen to carry a very, very, very high level of frequency, much higher than the human being. Now you're not asked to accept that or believe it. I'm just explaining the physics of it, okay? So when somebody receives a blessing through a Tao calligraphy or a blessing through a master teacher like myself, they have the ability to have the lower Shen Qi Jing in their body that has been lowered as a result of negative spiritual blockages. Shen Qi and Jing blockages. If we or our ancestors did positive things, then our life is blessed with huge luck, huge success, perfect health, wonderful relationships, no financial problems whatsoever. That means that we have done little to no harm to any souls and our ancestors have done exceptionally well also. We though, if we have forms of suffering uh, that have been labeled by the medical industry, uh, or if we have significant emotional problems or significant mental problems, uh, significant financial or relationship difficulties, this source of wisdom and teachings would say that it is related to soul level blockages in which we or our ancestors had brought harm or suffering upon others through the course of time. So, these blessings, in essence, uh, bring a much higher frequency, the frequencies of heaven, the frequencies of Mother Earth, and they melt the Shen Qi Jing blockages that are at the level of soul. Therefore, the physical body uh, must change to reflect what's happening up here at the level of soul. So I hope this explanation serves you as to the nature of frequencies and their association to Tao Tao blessings, and Tao calligraphy. My name is Master Paul. It's been an honor to serve you with this information. Aloha.